the grinds but it's gonna outweigh anything that you're gonna do adi our wicked keeper excellent wicked keeper oh yeah movies yeah movies <laughs> okay we can say movies Hey there, cricket lovers. Welcome back to another episode here on the Reverse Scoop channel. And today we're bringing you guys another episode on the series Rising Future Stars. And I have one of the future rising stars joining me today that trains under the watchful eyes of Coach Jason Anthony Milford Cricket Academy. Uh, his name is Saharj Bhatia, as you can tell by the title. I'm going to bring him on. We're going to ch have a chat with him. And we're going to give you guys a bit of insights about you know his trainings and his aspirations and his goals for future and what he's looking to do with his cricketing skills. So I'm going to welcome him on. Saharsh, welcome on board, brother. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me. First off, again, man, thank you for, for joining me on this conversation. So what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, how's everything? I'm good, man. How are you doing today? Doing good, brother. Doing good, man. You look a little bit of tired today. How uh, You know, you had a busy day? Yeah, it's been a busy day. Drivers at college stuff, you know. Senior oh, year. man, I remember yeah. those days, driver's ed. Huh? So you're getting your license this year? Yeah, soon. This month, actually. Oh, there you go, man. Congrats. Well, now you, you'll you have wheels, I'm sure, to, to get around and do more training practice. So let's let's bring, let's bring talk a little bit about your early cricketing days, Saharsh. You know, let's tell a little bit of viewers about, you know, your early cricketing journey, how you got into, obviously, interested in cricket from a young age, and what really... Uh, you know, caught your eye when you started playing cricket? When I was born, I'm, I'm from India, actually. I was born in India. And what caught my interest was the IPL. I was a big fan of the IPL. And I only watched the IPL. I didn't really follow international cricket a lot. I was a big fan of RCB at the time. And all I thought about was cricket. But this was when I was about maybe like, like 10 years old. And... um. I was really fond of cricket. I really wanted to play cricket, become a cricketer. A few years later, we moved to Connecticut here, USA. After that, I moved here to the USA at a very young age. And my passion sort of got held back because I was in Connecticut and I wasn't really aware of any cricket here in this area. I'm like, I, w I was thinking cricket was mainly Texas or Florida or California. I had no idea there was cricket here in the Northeast. And then one day, Omnitsar, he told me about New Milford Cricket Club and that's when I got introduced to Coach Jay and I got to know the entire team, started practicing with them and I started to love it. It was it was really good. After that I've oh. just been I've just been playing, you know, here I am. Yeah, yeah man, how how long ago was that, Saharsh? When did that happen? Is that like a couple of years ago, three years ago? That was two Give years ago. Just a little bit of a time uh two years ago? Yeah, so around two years ago. That was when the season was about to end. This was in August two years ago, and this was right after COVID ended, and we were starting to get back to normal. You know, it was it was like the transition of things. You were starting to go outside a lot. That's when I discovered this. I'm like, oh, this is a great way to like get right back into it because being online and the world was just online for like these many years. I had lost all fitness. Plus, I'm an athlete. I also play other sports like tennis, soccer. So I really wanted to play something I loved. And once I found out crickets here i was just i was like here you go this is what i want to do wow man that's awesome yeah. so like so you've been a monthly multi-sport athlete right <clears throat> you said you play yeah. soccer and you play tennis and uh, cricket obviously so like how, how does that help you obviously in cricket playing other sports and you know just to obviously help younger kids out kids that are younger than you that are playing other sports that might want to try their hands at cricket anything to to kind of tell them or give them an advice there i feel that fitness really helps across sports i feel like fitness is one aspect that you could relate to any other sport fitness is really important in cricket and that goes for any other sport if you're not fit you can't perform good you need to be fit and those sports really brought me that fitness aspect that I worked hard. I built ethics and everything. It gave me like a structured routine, I'd say, that I'd follow and I'd stick to like a certain discipline, which really helped me in cricket because cricket requires a lot of stamina. Like you're out there in the field playing for hours. You need stamina and those sports really helped me build it. So you should definitely play other sports. It will help you a lot. It's awesome, man. That's awesome. I mean, I'm sure like kids that are looking to try cricket, obviously it's something new. It's a growing sport here. And when people find out about it, then you obviously have to explain to them 
and you have to tell them, hey, it's a very similar sport to baseball. It's a lot of hand, hand-eye coordination. So do you think there's transferable skills from maybe players that are playing, you know, baseball and want to give a shot at cricket? Do you think those guys can transfer those skills into cricket? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of skills you can transfer from baseball because a lot of my friends that are currently playing cricket used to play baseball in high school. They were all baseball players and baseball was the thing that encouraged them to try out cricket because the mechanics of batting, throwing the ball, picking up the ball and throwing it to the catcher or throwing it to a fielder, it's all really similar to baseball. Same goes for cricket. Let's say you get a ball that you want to hit for a six. It's really similar to the swing in baseball, the way you swing the bat, the way you swing a cricket bat. It might not be the same, but it's very similar. The aspects are the same. And the way they train is also quite similar. So, Yeah, absolutely. And we've seen, you know, a lot of like um, MLB baseball tactics get applied into the T20 leagues. And a lot of teams are catching on with the tactics and the strategies that are used in the MLB system. So I think there's a good, you know, way for, you know, players, baseball players or tennis players or whoever that want to try cricket. It's, it's a good combination of essentially trying to figure out, Hey, can I even do this to, you know, Hey, I'm pretty decent at it because there's a lot of transferable skills. So that's awesome, man. You know, uh, what's your early cricketing memory, Sahars? Do you want to tell viewers about like your first cricketing memory? I'm sure it was probably in India. So what do you, as far as you think back, what do you remember about cricket? I think it was when India won the World Cup in 2011. I saw that game. Oh, Not wow. in person, but I was, I watched it on TV. That really sparked oh, yeah. something in me. That's awesome, man. I mean, see that like that, those kind of victories, right? Obviously creates fans and players like you and builds that ambition. So that's awesome. I mean, that, you know, World Cup victory. I mean, I feel old, man. 2011, right? You said um, yeah. India's World Cup win. So that's that's pretty amazing. Um, role models in cricket, Saharsh. You're, um, you know, from an early age on, somebody you've inspired and, you know, you've inspired to be in cricket or somebody who you look, looked up to, essentially. Growing up as a kid, I really had like a mix up of whether I want to be a batsman or a bowler. And I've looked up to you, Rod Singh, a lot. But for the past few years, I've been a really, really big fan of Ben Stokes. I'd say the majority of my life, I've been a big fan of Ben Stokes. You know, actually, my email address as well. I I was thinking that instead of doing my first name, last name, let's do something unique. So, like, I tried, like, my first name, and then I did Stokes. Like, I just added that to my email. I'm like, you know what? Let's try something. Because I was a big fan of Ben Stokes. I have posters of him in my room. I was just crazy about him. Ever since they won the 2019 World Cup, he's been one of my favorite players. That's awesome, man. And and, and is that because he has like a similar playing style to you? He's a lefty bat, balls right arm, pace. Do you think yeah, that has yeah. something to do with it yeah, there? Yeah. Since or because you obviously were well, you had those skills before, I'm sure you even you know, the 2019 World Cup. Do you think that had something to do yeah. with it? Just the style of his game and you want your style to turn out to be? Yeah, definitely. That's one of the main reasons I also like him because he's a lefty batter like me. He bowls, swings the ball, which I do as well. I'm a swing bowler too. I just, that's also one of the main reasons. And I'd say his batting really inspired me. The way he bats, like I copied a lot of his shots, the way he plays his drives and everything. I just, I love watching him bat. That's awesome, man. What do you think Stokes' number one quality is as a batter? Like, when he's batting, when he's fighting for his team, obviously, what is it that, you know, that you really like from from Stokes? Like, the, man, that this guy is just crazy. I feel that he's a clutch player. He plays when his team needs him the most. He absorbs the pressure, and he attacks at the right moments. He'll find the bad balls and put them away and stay there when they're bowling good. Yeah. He's, he's there to absorb the pressure and take the team to the finish line. He's not like one of those players that would like give you a boost. He'd stay there the entire time. He'd attack, he'd defend, and he'd take you to the win. He's that kind of player. And he'll perform when the team needs him the most, which I really love him about. Like, he's just, he's just wow. Yeah, man, just being clutch, dude. Like, as you said it in your first sentence, you know, like that ability – to step up when the team needs you the most. It, those players are very rare and far and few between, you know? So like that quality, again, for me too, it's probably his top quality and what, it's what makes him a great all-rounder in, in world cricket. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about your training and your development, Saharsh. Um, you know, last couple of years, 
you've been training, you know, under New Milford Cricket Academy under Jay and so what's that experience been like? Things you've you've learned and and uh, skills you've developed within the last couple of years. Tell the viewers a little bit of insight there. It's been a great journey, actually. Coach Jay, he's been my mentor. He taught me how to play cricket because I really started playing this sport when I got here. Back then, I was just a kid. I was a viewer. I didn't really play cricket, but my journey really started here. So he taught me all the basics. He taught me how to hold my bat, how to bowl, how to play the game. He gave me all the all the aspects of the game. And I'd say Karn as well. He's also been one of my main mentors. I looked up to him a lot. I still do a youth team. And he's trained us tough to stand up against those adults in that adult league. We've been working hard together. And um, I'm really proud of where I am today. And it's all thanks to Coach Jay and Karn. Wow, that's awesome, man. I mean, you know, you can definitely see I've seen your game develop in the last two years, you know, and shoot sky through the skies like and i see you know limitless boundaries you know for you man so like obviously through that hard work and help and dedication and your you know commitment to the game um you know i'm sure sky's the limit and we're going to be seeing you in those usa colors man sometime in the near future and that's our hope again right so you're aspire to be um you know that player that wants to reach to the top level so what are what are your next goals right now um you know saharsh you know i know you played uh under 19 cricket last year for the for the region uh you know from the northeast and so what's that pathway looking like for you right now to to get to the next um level in your cricket the pathway is a great experience and a great way to meet players of your own level and to compete at the nationals that's I'd work on the pull shot for days and days until I perfect it. So that next time that thing happens, I don't make the same mistake again, that I'm, I'm perfect the next time. Those That's the mindset I normally have. No, that's awesome, man. Now, the grinds, but it's going to outweigh anything that you're going to do, right? And in, in cricket and in life. So, you know, comp- not talking about obviously some of your hobbies, like beyond cricket, like what else do you love to do besides, you know, obviously you said you play tennis, you play some, um you know other sports but what else are your hobbies what's how do you manage obviously you're meeting with your friends and training with cricket and and other things you got going on in your life so what other things um you know that interest you outside of cricket so i've been playing the guitar for more than six years now that's one of my other hobbies i play the guitar and awesome i didn't know that man damn yeah, yeah. You got a That's guitarist I, here. Yeah, I play the guitar. I can play the piano. I'm not proficient at it, but I also play the piano a little. Yeah, my family has some roots in music. My dad's side is all about music. That's that. And awesome. I I love music a lot. And let's see. I mean, other than cricket, cricket's like my main passion. I don't really think about anything else but cricket. <laughs> I'd say... It's crazy. You're not into like, Indian movies? Oh, yeah, movies. Yeah, movies. Okay, we can say movies. I, I love movies. Movies are fun. Oh, well, there you go, My, man. Movies yeah. are definitely one of them. It could be food. You could say, man, I love to eat out at, you know, all these places. I yeah, mean, I'm, food, a, I'm an eater, yeah. so I like to go out and try different spots. Yeah, I love food, too. Food. Actually, you should, I should talk about food. I, I love food a lot. I love all <laughs> the Indian food. Let's say, like, paneer. I love paneer. Any, give me any type of paneer, I'll What's eat it. What's your favorite dish? What's your favorite favorite Indian dish, uh, Sahar? Favorite Indian dish? Um, actually, my favorite Indian dish: dal makhani and garlic naan. Best combo. Oh, oh, yeah. nice. That that sounds pretty good. Since we since I asked you that, right? I'm gonna get into our rapid fire round questions. So, since we are already kind of uh, asked you that question, so 15 questions I'm gonna ask you on the rapid fire. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Let's let's do this. So, test or T20? T20. Favorite T20. cricket team apart from your own? Like in the in our USA, like in my league? No, in well, in world cricket. Let's go for the world cricket, like the country's cricket. So, favorite cricket tr- team apart from your own? So, apart from India? Australia. Australia. Okay. Late night or early mornings? Late nights. Favorite cricket snack? Energy bars, protein bars. Bowling or batting? Ah. Uh. That's a tough one. Batting. Favorite cricket legend? 
Ben Stokes. He's a legend. Dream cricket venue. Lords. Best friend in cricket. Adi. Aditya Joswala. One word to describe your cricket style. Attacking. Favorite movie. Extraction 2. Last book you read. The Lord of the Flies for English class. Music you listen to before the, before game. Definitely. It's a mix, but I'd say Ski Mask. Biggest fear on the cricket field. Getting out on zero. Dream wicket or dream century? Dream century. Funniest moment in cricket. Okay, this was there was this one time I forgot to wear my cup when I got onto bat. I didn't have my support or my cup. I wasn't wearing any any protection down there. <laughs> and I walked onto bat and I actually played about five or six overs until I realized I wasn't wearing anything. So I had to like <laughs> stop the game right there. I'm like, oh, God. Sh- I have to go my <laughs> cup. Yeah, that was that was terrifying when I realized that. That's funny, man. That's funny. So a day with Ben Stokes or a day with the Indian cricket team? David Ben Stokes. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to test you there with that last one. That wasn't on the list, but. All right, guys. That was our rapid fire round with Saharj Bhatia. So we're going to continue our conversation with him, um, you know, regarding his training and his upbringing here within the New Milford cricket and the community. So, Saharj, talk a little bit about the community and the teams with, with the New Milford Cricket Club. Um, talk about the support and stuff like that from, you know, obviously other players and this and the senior guys as well. Um, what have you like, you know, seen from your view in the last couple of years with with the kind of community we're we're building, um, you know, with, within the New Milford and and, uh, you know, our club. This community, to, this, OK, this community to me is more than just a team. It's like a family now. It's like a family bond. I love everybody in the community. I look up to the senior guys, Coach Jay. They've really helped me a lot throughout my journey. And it feels like home. It's like a second home out there, honestly. When I'm stuck or when I need something, there's guys always there to help me out. It's a friendly environment, and everybody's friendly to talk to. Everybody's aspiring. They're like a role model. And I just I just love the vibe there. It's It's amazing. My peers who I play with are, they're all great guys, great friends. We're friends on and off the field where it's just, we have a really good team bond and team connection, which really helps us in the game as well. One of the main reasons for our success is our team bond. We have a strong team bond, which really helps us on the field as well. And same goes with the senior team. The senior team, everybody on the senior team is like a role model for us. We look up to you guys. We try to compete with you guys, try to get better than you guys. But you guys are like, you guys are really inspiring for us. We talk about the way you guys play and how, if we were to go up against you, how would we beat you? We'd talk about like specific players on your team. Like, oh, I like the way this guy bats. We should follow that way. You know, it's, it's fun. The guys are great. The community is lovely. And it's it's really good to be out there with them. That's awesome, man. I mean, yeah, like for, you know, from like the senior guys, right? Obviously we see so much talent in you guys. And honestly, like you guys can beat us any day of the week and the improvement you guys have brought on under J by and coach, you know, Karan as well, obviously working and Karan obviously plays in the senior setup. So he's always telling us obviously, right. About like all the improvement that, you know, you guys are making and the talent that's coming in. So any other of your teammates that you want to sh- give a shout out to right now and, uh, you know, give uh, give them a shout out and then and, and kind of tell the the viewers um, that these players are also to watch out for along with you. Definitely. Yeah. So my friend Nihal, definitely watch out for him. He's a gun fast bowler. He'll come right up to you. Well, if he bounces, you won't even know what's going on. I love that guy. Prem, excellent batter. He's a he's a great guy. Funny guy. Humble guy. He's, your, he's my go-to for slips. He's my batting partner. I open with him. Love batting with him. Um, Ayush. Ayush Atavia. He's a great guy. Great fielder. Great bowler. Adi, our wicket keeper. Excellent wicket keeper. You should watch out for him. IPL soon one day. And Grishan. Oh, yeah, man. Hell yeah. And awesome. yeah, Grishan. And there's a lot yeah. of a lot of good there's, talent, there's man. And, and so, and obviously you're playing with these guys. You guys have a nice core of you know, group that you guys are very tight with. And obviously you guys are going to play a lot of future cricket together. So do you guys spend a lot of time like away from cricket as well? Just doing, um, you know, things that friends do on a Saturday or on a Sunday at times. 
Yeah, definitely. We hang out a lot outside of cricket. We're really good friends outside of cricket. Like I said earlier, on and off the field, we we celebrate together. We sometimes we do watch parties. We would go at someone's place to watch a game. Like we'd watch the Super Bowl together or the World Cup final, IPL final. We'd normally do it all together. Wrap it up, Saharsh. We're going to wrap it up soon. So any message from you to the aspiring young cricketers that are that want to pick up cricket or just starting out? What's your message to them, um, you know, to, to get things going for them? I'd say stick, first of all, define what you want. Describe what you want. Talk to yourself and ask yourself, what am I really looking for? What's my ultimate goal? What should I be striving for? You can't just go out there thinking, oh, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play in the IPL one day. How will we get there? Define a plan for yourself. Define a routine a routine you're going to stick to, be consistent to the routine. You can't just be on and off. You have to work through that routine every day. You have to work hard. It's not going to be easy because if you're here in the USA, I understand that you don't have the facilities as other cricketers from around the country would. So it would be hard, but you have to work. You're going to find ways and you'll get there if you're consistent and you work hard. Just stick to the stick to the basics, man keep working and you'll get there i love that message i love that message that you just gotta stick to the basics when you tend to lose clarity and focus so another thing we didn't mention saharsh is is your family right obviously your dad's very involved and your family supported you and your brother and and obviously taking you to games and bringing you around so you know talk a little bit about that as well obviously it's you know crucial for the growth of young cricketers that the parents you know, put support behind their children. So talk, I know your dad, you know, personally, obviously. So talk a little bit there, um, you know, the support that you get from your dad and your mom and your family. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And I'm really glad for my family supporting me out there. My dad has been, he's one of the main reasons I'm here where I am right now. He drives me to my games. He takes time out of his personal life and drives me to my games, spends money on me for tours, my gear. It's it's a lot of work and dedication. It's the dedication you need from a player it also goes from a parent. The parents are also putting in an equal amount of effort to make the player successful. Shout out to my mom. My mom's like, oh my God, you play too much. You got to like take a break, you know, going to all these games. You got to spend some time with family too. So she's out there supporting me as well so is my brother my brother also plays actually and he understands he's a soccer player he he's also fond of cricket yeah my family uh, shout out to my family they've been supporting me all this time and i really want to make them proud one day great man that's some great words there so to finish off saharsh we're going to talk about your most valuable advice that you received from code jason to finish off and then I'll, I'll wrap it up the most valuable advice i've gotten is to stay calm stick to your basics and don't lose focus when you're out there you're playing just be focused in the game and don't be diverted. Like, don't have your mind on different things. When you're going in there to bat, have a clear mind and don't think too much. Just be relaxed and focus on your game and play the way you play. That's it, man. Awesome. Thank you, Saharsh, again for joining me. And again, to the viewers, if you're just joining us, uh, you know, we've had a wonderful conversation with Saharsh. Make sure to, you know, replay it and watch the entire thing. But, um, you know, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon for more updates. We're going to bring you guys more future stars like Saharsh and, you know, good luck Saharsh and all your future endeavors, brother. Um, You know, we'll look forward to have you in the future again sometime. Um, Any last words to the viewers before we sign off here? Yeah. Thanks for burying me out here. Sorry about, sorry if I like, you know, stumble or anything. Nah, nah, you're good, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks uh, for having me. Yeah. We're going to be seeing you in those USA colors in the, uh, in the near future, brother. So good luck. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching and staying tuned. And don't forget to, you know, subscribe to the channel for more cricketing updates and more on the Rising Future Star series here on the Reverse Scoop channel. Again, thank you so much. And Nabil Khan and Saharj Bhatia from the Reverse Scoop signing off. Have a great night, everybody.